Cooper. Come here. Hi. For this overnight, I did promise you two shelters. Well, that's the first one, the Kodiak Canvas truck tent. And now, shelter number two. This is the Warbonnet Thunderfly. Just picked this up when it was first introduced uh, by Brandon from Warbonnet on hammock forums. So shelter number one and shelter number two. And I can't wait to get out with either one of these again. You can bet on it. We made it out for another overnight. Cooper has his blanket, so he's happy. He knows we're uh, settled. This looks like a road, and it is. It's an old road that isn't used anymore. Reason why we're here, because it's level. And this is shelter for the night. We have camp set up off the back of the truck. Another side of our campsite. Not sure why these trees are marked. Several of them have orange bands. They may be uh, marked for cutting down, but I'm not sure in a national forest why. See our water jug there sitting on top of a uh, milk crate. And I may have shown you this a few years ago. This is my truck, my trailhead truck. And I've owned this for 20 years. It's a 94 Chevy K2500, 6.5 liter diesel. I moved our campsite and truck back several feet after noticing a tree that seemed to be uh, moving more than others and it just caught my eye and uh, if you move up to look at it it's dead And judging from how it's tipped and where it would fall, we move the truck back. Give you the whole 360 house at. that's no longer used, it's uh, failed. 
down at that end. So the road is never used anymore. I've got some history to show you later on. See that big old stump up there? That's a huge cedar. I'll show you that later. That's how we came in. There's the Kodiak canvas truck tent. And so far, I really, really like this tent. Uh, it took me an hour and a half to set this thing up in my driveway today. About 45 minutes, and I've got this thing down. I've, I've got it figured out, and I'll explain. The tip that I can uh, pass along that would be the most useful is symmetry. What you do to one side, you do the same and equal measurement or pull on the other side. That goes with everything, starting at the tailgate, you know, making sure that the corners are at each corner. Very important. And as you go up, make sure that uh, all the pulls and the straps are all equally measured. And then as you go up, make sure that uh, when you're putting up your poles, you have a center line there. Making sure that is, in fact, at center. You can go all the way down. Same with the sides. And when these are set, wraparounds, you kind of want to just pull all the slack out. And it makes for a nice tighter fit all the way around. That's all on the outside. And again, you want to make sure you have the same distance. This is the wheel well. And I can show you on the other side. Same distance, the wheel well. And on these corners, uh, since this is built for a five and a half to six and a half foot bed, you're gonna have uh, some differences here in length. Again, if you just uh, pull, take out all the slack, and you just wrap it around the end of the uh, front of the bed here, makes it all nice and uh, even and straight and tight. See how I have that all pulled all the way to the bed there, up against the cab. And there is an overhang there, which is nice. And then there's that pass-through window midway. And I have a cab window. It's going to be a little dark in here, but uh, there it is. You can see how that uh, matches with the uh, cab slide window in the rear. And that just goes straight on through into the uh, canvas tent as well. So again, my tip for you, making sure everything is equal and symmetrical. And for a first overnight, I do really like this Kodiak canvas truck tent. It's a winner. The little guy is laying on rocks. <laughs> I guess that's what uh, being dog tired is all about. Rocks, so what? Uh, Another piece of Northwest logging history here. And I've shown you one of these years back. They're all over our Northwest forest. This is a first generation cedar tree. Thing is huge. 
and what you're seeing are these notches into the base and you can see where the tree was cut off well those notches were cut into the base for planks that were placed into those notches so that the loggers would have a foothold onto the plank where they would take their saws and saw that thing off there. Another side of this thing, give you an idea how wide this was. Huge tree. Still here all these years later. I just had to share this moment with you. It is so calm, so peaceful, so quiet, even by wall hiker backpacking standards. Got the night light going. The Yuko Special Edition candle lantern. And just beyond that, can we see? Can we see? Yes. Cooper's taking a snooze until we turn in for the evening. <laughs> Got two classics side by side. Kerosene Lantern and the Yuko Candle Lantern. But the Yuko outshines because that'll go on <laughs> all night. It's 10.30. We're inside the Kodiak Canvas truck tent. We have the Phoenix and Nightcore lights on full bore. The Yuko is out there. Cooper's trying to get some sleep, hoping that uh, <laughs> I will turn these lights out. Just wanted to show you the inside. Good morning, Cooper. It's 6.30. I just fed you, so you're uh, doing fine, huh? And you're doing what you like to do. Just kind of looking around. Looking to see if you can see any birds. Huh? Do you see any birds yet? Not yet? <laughs> well, you hear one. coffee shortly. We're in the inside of the Thunderfly hammock tarp. Cooper's a little disappointed because uh, <laughs> he was hoping to uh, climb into a hammock. Well, we'll do that the next time. Again, this is just a uh, preview. Hey, Cooper. Cooper, I promise. Next time, we'll do this for real, okay? With a hammock. He's already creating himself a a bed. He wants to sleep under the uh, Thunderfly. It is three o'clock and I am starving. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cook up some uh, dinner. And I'll uh, tell you more about the stove later tonight. 
Actually, this stove is a lantern and it's called the Firefly. And I first saw this a couple years ago on Hiram Cook's YouTube channel. We're going to do our cooking with it. Once it gets going here, And later tonight, we'll show you how effective this is as a lantern. So I'm gonna melt this uh, coconut oil for our first item for tonight's meal. Mushrooms, bok choy, onion, celery. And of course those big old, did I say mushrooms already? I'm going to do up a little stir fry. Use the hands. Okay, I'm going to put a lid on this. Let it break down even more. Okay, I'm going to plate this. See that a flame? Next item on the menu. Okay. Never hurts to put a little more seasoning. Again, this is my uh, Bromwell cold handle styled frying pan. I'm going to say let's plate this. Remember the... Uh, there it is, look at that. Put that off to the side here. See that? <laughs> Stir fried veggies with a steak. I've got this sitting on my lap on top of my Flame On Cozy. And of course, you always know what's next after I cook up a meal. Oh, I think that's just right. Here we go. Taste test. Excellent. 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 How about a big old mushroom? Mm. Come, on. Come on. There you go. Good job. Good job, buddy. I'm uh, speaking literally here. Cooper knows something is up. And I'll show you what he knows. What dog <laughs> doesn't like popcorn? Remember this? From our Family camping days, Jiffy Pop. Yes, we're going to have some of that. And Cooper is just crazy about popcorn. And he, he knows.
What is it, huh? What is it? Ooh, buddy. Taste test. That's it. Jiffy Pop. Okay. You ready? You ready? One. Let's. Two. Let's do three in a row. You ready? Cooper, pay attention. Three in a row. Good job. Full disclosure, I cannot eat all this, and I'm going to put it away. I'm sorry, but that's all we're going to get. Okay, can we do it one more time? One last one? Catch it? <laughs> okay, let me throw it again. Cooper. Good catch. Nothing like a toasted bagel, just slightly. How's that looking? Not bad. Big old slices, big thick slices of bacon. So here's breakfast, bacon, eggs, toasted bagel, and of course, a cup of coffee. And to do the honors for a taste test, hey Cooper, come here, come here, it's a little hot, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good job. My turn. Hmm, <laughs> hmm,